Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say uh, good morning everyone, both the East West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on Sunday. And hope you guys are also enjoying the weekend. And for this video today, what I want to talk to you guys about is the, pre the preview for tonight's W Battleground pay-per-view for the 19th of July 2015, which is today here on Sunday. So let's get right into this. Link will be in the description down below. This is from Mostly.com, posted by Jason Namako for the 19th of July 2015, which is today here on Sunday. It says, The following is scheduled for tonight's uh, W Battleground pay per view live from St. Louis, Missouri, airing on the W Network and some traditional pay per view outlets. So, for the first match we have was a kickoff show, Battle for the Crown, King Barrett versus R Truth. Now, this is a match where I think King Barrett gets the win here. I mean, ever since he became the King of the Ring, he clearly hasn't, he clearly hasn't, you know, gained any momentum. He's been losing matches. He's been, you know, he's been losing momentum. And, you know, for, if R-True does win it, I mean, I won't be surprised. But at the same time, King Barrett, you know, King Barrett, or should I, or should I say, Bad News Barrett, you know, he should, Bad News Barrett, uh, King Barrett should get the win here. You know, and basically, if you're not going to build, you know, King Barrett up, then just, you shouldn't have, the WWE basically shouldn't have just given, um, should not have given him the King of the Ring. That should have gone to Neville, okay? No matter what we can say about Neville, whether he's young, he just started on the main roster or whatever, Neville should have got the King, the King of the Ring. That's me. But King of Barry, in my view, will win this match. That's my prediction. And the first match for the uh, card for WWE Battleground, the primetime players will take on the New Day. You know, the champions, primetime players take on the New Day. Um, a part of me thinks that, uh, the primetime players will win this match, but I will not be surprised if the New Day actually does win it, uh, because, you know, the primetime players, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like them as a tag team, I think they're very entertaining, they have good skill work as a team, but, at the same exact time, I think that, you know, they really, uh, the primetime players really haven't gotten, you know, um, that much for man, they really haven't been built up that much as tag team champions. So, I think, but I think the primetime players will win this match, though I will not be surprised if the New Day wins and becomes new tag team champions, though, which I could care less about the New Day. I mean, their gimmick is just, you know, fizzled out. But that's what, that's what I think the primetime players will retain the WWE Tag Team Championships. Next, we have Randy Orton versus Sheamus. Um, when you look at this match, you got Randy Orton. He's from St. Louis, Missouri. He's going to be in his hometown tonight. And I think it would only make sense if you give Randy Orton the big win here, you know, for WWE Battlegrounds, so you can then, you know, build Randy Orton up. But after that, what else can you do for Randy Orton, you know? Um, so, you know, um, could Sheamus win this match? I mean, yes, it's a possibility. Uh, made, made by disqualification. I don't know, but I think Randy Orton will win this match. The next match we have, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. Um, you know, Roman Reigns has been built up, has been, been, has been built up by the, the uh, WWE lately, and what's been rumored is that he will turn heel at some point, whether it's tonight at Battleground or at SummerSlam or in the future, it's going to happen. So, I do see uh, Roman Reigns winning this match, though I will not be surprised if Bray Wyatt won. Because if you look at Bray Wyatt, ever since WrestleMania, his, you know, uh, his push has been getting really, you know, it's really going down. And I think that uh, with this win uh, for Bray Wyatt to win this match would be very big and it would resurge his career uh, in a very positive way. So, but I would say Roman Reigns will win this match. Then we have the WWE United States Championship. John Cena, versus John Cena the champion, will take on Kevin Owens. Uh, basically, Kevin Owens and John Cena have been feuding with each other since Elimination Chamber. And, you know, they've been having a good rivalry, in my opinion. Though, for this match, I think you, if you really want to, you know, continue this rivalry, uh, I think what, what would be better is there will be a double countout. And basically, you know, John Cena will still have the championship. But um, after this match is over with, they're going to have one final match at SummerSlam to sell it all. To basically just, you know, basically just sell it all and end the rivalry in the feud for good. And that is where I see Kevin Owens win, Kevin Owens win and win the championship. But I don't think he's going to win it tonight. I just have this feeling in my stomach that Cena's going to win either by disqualification, countout, or another way. So... 
the next up we have the main event. We have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins, the champion, taking on Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman at ringside. Now I know everyone's going to be saying that Brock Lesnar should, you know, win this match, uh, you know, and just destroy Seth Rollins. But you know that that's not really going to happen. Brock Lesnar is not really going to destroy Brock Lesnar. Um, you know, I think this is going to be a very good match. I mean, if you look at the match that they had with Cena at the Royal Rumble this year, beginning of this year in January, that was a very good uh, match. And I think that this match between Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar will be very good. But you know that in the end, there will be shenanigans. So, um, I think what, what, what may happen is two things. I'm, so, basically, I'm 50-50 in this match. Seth Rollins could walk uh, walk out and uh, retain the championship Due to the authority interfering, and also uh, it's also being rumored that the Undertaker is going to interfere in this match and basically attack everyone uh, in a rage of fury, and even attack Brock Lesnar, causing disqualification, which means that Seth Rollins will walk out still the champion, or Brock Lesnar could walk out the champion clean, or in a, or, or in a dirty way where you know the authority interferes and Brock Lesnar basically takes them all out. When you know Brock Lesnar go, finishes Seth Rollins off with the F5 and gets the win, which will basically shock everyone, even me, because don't get me wrong, I do like Brock Lesnar and I like him as a champion. Uh, but if he does win the championship, where are they going to go here? Now it's being rumored that you know Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns are going to face off again for the second time in a row for a summer for a SummerSlam. So that should be very interesting to see. And those are my prediction, guys. Tell me in the comments below, guys. You think about this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in the middle? Of, are you in the middle? Are you neutral about WWE Battleground tonight for, on pay per view on the WWE Network as well? Tell me your predictions in the comment section in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, guys. And until next time, it's Nate Sam. Peace. Take care. I will see you guys later. We're coming up uh, later on today afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, or in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So until next time, take care, guys. And I will see. You guys later. Peace in. Have a good day. Take care, guys. Bye. Don't forget, more content is coming to my channel, so stay tuned. Bye.